Hey fishers, I'm excited, real excited at the moment. Guess what? We're open, you can come in tomorrow. Uh, not today, but tomorrow, Saturday morning, no problem. Uh, I'll be here at eight o'clock, open at eight, eight till three. Uh, come in and have a look around. Got a few specials floating around, so that should get everybody excited, I can tell you now. And actually, some of them are super hot specials, so yeah, yeah, you'll be pretty excited about that. But let's get on to the real stuff. Fishing, you're allowed to go fishing, which is more important. Real happy with that. You can go to the new weir. It's fishing well. Uh, fair few redfin still coming out of it, and some of those monster trout, absolutely fantastic. The river just below the Hume, getting some really big trout out of there as well. Um, haven't heard any from a while. Uh, we haven't had a lot of reports come in, uh, but we have had a couple. The river's going to be a little bit uh, up and down, a little bit high, so it's going to be a bit of a tough one, the river. Uh, we might have to wait a week or two before we get right into it. You can go down there if you want to, fish off the bank, put a boat in. I uh, haven't heard of any reports because it's up over five metres at the moment, but it's going to drop, I can assure you of that as soon as I make a bit of airspace up in the dams. Lake Albert, how hot has that place been? I kid you not, like I've seen some good years in Lake Albert, but I reckon this would have to be pretty well the top one I've seen. Lots of yellow belly, few cod obviously you've got to put them back because it is closed season and you're not allowed to target them, so just be sure of that. By the way, if you're out fishing the lake and you catch a carp, look, I can't give you any real ideas what to do with them, but don't leave them laying around on the bank. If it was me, I probably shouldn't, knock them on the head put them back in the water. Uh, you know, the, the yabbies and the shrimp and everything to eat them, no problem at all. And the water rats, there's a few water rats out there too, by the way. Uh, so they'll clean them up without too much trouble. Don't leave them laying around the bank and don't leave your rubbish around, for goodness sake. Because a lot of people walk around uh, the lake and it's a pretty scenic little place. Not too bad, so look after it, fishers. Blowering, you're allowed to go to blowering. Yes, it is fishing well, and I have got reports from there. I haven't been talking much about it because, uh, look, you haven't been able to get up there. <coughs> but you can um, from tomorrow on. Get up there, go get stuck into it. Yellow belly up in the shallows. Uh, you'll get some really good yellows. Fishing off the bank with baits are good, but trolling has been very, very good. And also drifting and casting. All your techniques that you like to use. But the reports I have been getting coming in, the locals up there have been trolling around. Little shallow running lures. My favourite would be the little mini minnow, the CC mini minnow, the Dr. Pratt mini minnow, we call it. And there's some amazing colours in that. And there's a shallow and a deep. Trucks going past, that's all right. We don't mind a bit of traffic at the moment. Uh, things are looking real hot up there, so that's looking good. You could be to Tangra Jindabyne, haven't had any reports, but look, they'd be okay without too much trouble at all. And you really wouldn't need to travel any further than that. Like at the moment, go and get your fix, get out there, get stuck into it, and uh, you're going to be pretty darn happy with what's happening out there at the moment. So good luck. We've got plenty of bait, no shortage of all that sort of stuff. And like I say, we've got a heap of little specials and throwaways on the uh, table to, to today and also tomorrow. So come in and see us. Complete English Fishing Report for this week. Catch you next week.